Hello, welcome to Megger's technical support video series, Frequently Asked Questions. In this video, we will discuss the Digiphone 2 Plus Earth Fault Locator Hardware. Let's get started. In this video, we will go over the indicator unit, the Digiphone sensor, connection ports, connection leads, and the accessories. This is the indicator unit. It has the following features, a display, a rotary control knob, function key 1, function key 2, and an indicator unit on-off button when pressed and held, or a backlight on-off control when the button is pressed briefly. The LED also indicates that the device is switched on when green and that the batteries are low when red. On top of the indicator unit are earth spike connection sockets, a sensor or receiver connection, and a connection socket for headphones. This is the Surge Wave Receiver DPPSU2 which is used for the accurate pinpointing of faults in buried cables. It is made up of three major components, the DPP-SU sensor, the telescopic handle, and different probes that are suitable for different ground conditions. Connect the telescopic handle into the sensor by pushing the base of the handle into the top of the sensor and twisting the handle 90 degrees to lock it in place. Extend the handle by rotating the knob counterclockwise and pulling on the handle. Lock the handle height by rotating the knob clockwise. Connect the sensor cable from the DPPSU sensor to the indicator unit. Connect one end of the cable to the DPPSU sensor by lining up the red dots and pressing down until the cable locks in place. Connect the other end of the cable into the indicator the same way. Connect the sensor probe to the sensor by inserting the threaded end into the threaded hole at the bottom of the base of the sensor. Rotate the probe in a clockwise rotation until the connection is tight. The 18 mm and 75 mm probes can be attached onto the three-point foot probe or attached separately. This concludes the Digifon 2 Plus hardware video. Visit the Megger YouTube channel for more videos including technical webinars, product overviews, and other how-to presentations similar to this one. Contact us for questions or more information about this topic or for any support you may need for your electrical testing.